Hello and welcome back to another HitFilm tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can add a bit more bounce to your animations and motion graphics made inside of HitFilm. It's quite simple to do and all you need is something to animate. I've created this fairly simple composite shot which just has a background plane with a gradient on it and then I've got some text which says subscribe, which is a great idea. Please go and subscribe. Thank you. And then I've also got this grade layer on top, which just adds a bit of a vignette over the top. But none of that's really important as long as you have something to animate. So the first thing you're going to want to do is select the layer that you want to animate, then go to the controls tab, and then start animating the property that you want to have this bounce animation. I'm going to keyframe the scale property, and so I'm just going to select the circle next to scale, and you'll see it lights up and there's a little dot in the middle. Then I'm going to change the scale down to zero. That's because I want it to start at zero scale, so it's not visible. Then I'm going to move ahead by a couple of frames. I'm gonna move ahead by around five frames. The more frames that you have, the slower your animation will be, and the less frames you have, the quicker the animation will be. Then, once I'm around five frames in, I'm going to change the scale to 110% and overshoot the final value that I want because I want it to be at 100%, but I've gone a bit over that to kind of give it that bounce. And then I'm going to move back by a couple of frames, so two frames forward, and change it down to 100. And so, as you can see, it starts at zero, it then grows to being a bit too big, and then it's brought back down to being the size that you want it. You could change this, like, extreme keyframe, I guess you could call it, the one that was at 110%. You could change this to anything you wanted, and that would just exaggerate the bounce a bit more. But I quite like the slightly more subtle look, but it really applies to your project and what you're wanting to do with it. Currently, it doesn't look all that smooth, and there's a couple of things we can do to help make it look a bit smoother. The first thing is activate motion blur. To do this, you can either click on this little motion blur icon that's next to the layer if you're in a composite shot, or if you're in the editor, you can activate motion blur by checking the motion blur box in the controls tab while the layer is selected, and this will add in some nice motion blur. The next thing that you can do is change the keyframe type to smooth or manual bezier. To do this, select the keyframes by dragging on all the keyframes, and then just go up to the top here and change it to the convert keyframes to smooth button. And this will just ease the animation in and also ease it out at the end. Alternatively, you could use the manual bezier uh, if you wanted to, that will create some rounder looking keyframes. And then to change these values, you can just go into the value graph and then play around with these curves. There is a more in-depth tutorial made by FX Home on how to use the value graph. And so I'll leave a link to that down in the description below. And now you've finished, you've now made this really nice bounce animation inside of HitFilm. It can work for a whole ton of different projects. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then please leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any tutorial requests, suggestions, ideas, anything, then leave them down in the comments below. Or reach out to me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll leave a link to them down in the description below. Hope to see you next time. Goodbye.